जय गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव हेलो एवरीवन सो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर विद माय गुरुदेव सो लाइक वी आर वर्किंग ऑन सम प्रोजेक्ट यू नो वी आर कनेक्टेड विद गुरुजी विद योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज अ पार्ट ऑफ यू नो सोशल सर्विस पार्ट सो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी कि मैं भी इनके साथ जुड़ी हूँ जुड़ी हुई हूँ इनके साथ और साथ साथ हम लोग बहुत सारे सोशल सर्विस कर रहे हैं बट गुरु आप प्लीज ये बताइए आप स्पिरिचुअलिटी के लिए तो यू आर वेरी वेल नोन पीपल आपको जानते हैं मानते हैं लेकिन वॉट इज हाउ डू यू मैनेज सोशल सर्विस जैसे आप एनजीओ के लिए इतनी सारी यू नो लोगों को हेल्प कर रहे हैं ड्राइव कर रहे हैं तो हाउ डू यू यू नो मैनेज बट इज सोशल सर्विस एंड द स्पिरिचुअलिटी थैंक यू सो वी आर ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड विथ योर एनजीओ एंड वी आर डूइंग अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड के this question keeps coming again and again to us that what are we are we a spiritual organization or are we a social organization are we leftist or are we rightist then the next question comes is which party do you support there's nothing that we support or we are against anything because we are not if we are there then we are for something or against something i am neither against anyone nor for anyone this is the base of spirituality person who does not do service cannot be spiritual and a person who is not spiritual cannot do any kind of service they go hand in hand if you are spiritual you become so sensitive you become an empath you are so sensitive about yourself and other people and their problems and only a spiritual person only a spiritual person can be a service giving person not anyone else because that person knows what other is going through he can feel the pain of other if you are spiritual and you are not doing service you know what will happen none of your spirituality is going to work for you none and if you are doing social service and if you are not spiritual you know what will happen a group of people young people they combined with us and they were doing service so i told them you go to you know the slums in bhando and it was a very bad conditioned slum over there there are commercial sex workers and many over there so they started going over there i started working over there uh, in the beginning of our ngo we were working with the jails and the commercial sex workers and in the slum so there was a there were a group of people young people with me i was also very young at that time and we started going over them after some time one of my friend he took over that project from me he said i will take care of this you keep doing in the jail so i started doing in the jail one day he came after a month and he was very upset i said what happened he said everything is going on fine over there and we don't need to go over there everyone is fine so i don't know where to give my service now i am depressed so think what he was doing first is that he was wishing that people be in trouble so he can help them and secondly if he is not being able to help people he is getting into depression this is wrong this is service without spirituality without spiritual wisdom if you go to do service this will happen to you so guru ji aapne bahut hi achhi tarike se bataya ke bina spirituality social service nahi hum kar sakte itne acche se samjhaya i am sure it's a learning for me as well and sabhi ke liye it's a big learning of life you know but guru ji we are really very excited ke aapki ye journey aapne kaise start ki कभी स्टार्ट की वॉट वॉज अ मोटिवेशन या इंस्पिरेशन या क्या आपके मतलब क्या विचार थे तभी आप प्लीज हम सभी को बताइए वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू गिव सर्विस और वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू वॉक ऑन द पाथ ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी इट इज लाइक वॉकिंग ऑन द पाथ ऑफ ट्रूथ इट डजेंट हैपन 
in one lifetime it has to be from many lifetimes you know the upanishad says satya meva jayate na itar satyena pantha vikato deva yana yat pathanti rishiyo hayat kama yatra tatra sarvatra satyam nidhana the upanishad says that walking on the path of truth of spirituality of service is like you are always victorious in it because there is nothing beyond truth there is nothing beyond service there is nothing beyond spirituality but still walking on the path of spirituality service truth is very difficult because it is like walking or traveling on the divine path or the divine boat or the divine vehicle what is this divine path or divine vehicle there are two types of path two types of vehicles and there is one is the pitri the ancestral path or the ancestral vehicle which your father has created a vehicle and given it to you made a ship may bought a car and given it to you or made a road there is a highway there is a subway and your ancestors have made it for you and you are walking on it it's very easy it is the ancestral path but walking on the path of service is like walking in the divine path you have to cut the jungle and make your own path you have to make your own vehicle cut a tree and create your own ship your own boat it's very difficult what someone else has done you can't repeat that you can't do that so i have seen people doing service mr vincent he donated 10 lakh rupees to the 10 lakh dollars to the museum i will donate 20 lakhs to the museum this is not service for me this is doing something out of jealousy jealousy is never going to be service so i feel that those service the inspiration to do service is coming from many lifetimes still it must not be out of jealousy or out of comparison if he is giving you know 10% of his income i will give 11% of my income if he is doing this i will do this if she is doing this i will that is not spirituality that is not service from my childhood i was born a very slow child still day people know that i am very bad with handling numbers remembering names and uh, you know addresses so i was a special child i was a slow child and uh, i really wanted to improve my mind and so i stepped on the path of spirituality and i started doing practices to increase my brain power it already increased after that my only hunger was to get self realization but while doing so i understood that the purpose of spirituality is not brain development or getting supernatural powers or fame or money the purpose of spirituality is receiving self realization and it is not possible without recognizing one and all all in one if i cannot see myself in everyone i cannot reach my self realization self realization means only that that there is no self no individuality no duality everything is non dual and for that reason i knew that the true spiritualism is only and only by service that is how i started the upanishad there is a story that there was a man thief excellent thief there was not a thief in around seven kingdoms like him he was so powerful and so wonderful that his fame was everywhere specifically one kingdom people one village people were so upset with him that they anyhow wanted to trap him 
and he was an expert. He would never get trapped. So one day the whole village and the soldiers and the police and the king himself decided that we will all be away and we will all trap him and catch him. So he entered the village in the dark of the night and uh, he tried to steal but it was a full moon night so somehow there was some commotion and people came to know and people started running behind him, the villagers, the soldiers, the king, horses and everything with all their weapons and the thief was terrified no matter however expert he was, he was scared, he started running. Running, he came out of that village, he ran into the jungle. People followed him, they said nothing. Today, even if few of us die, it doesn't matter, but we want to get rid of this idiot. In the jungle, when he was running and people were following him, he saw an ashram of a guru and he entered that ashram. And he just sat in between the people and there was satsang going on over there. So people also entered the ashram and they said now it is not possible to get him over here. We can't do any kind of violence in a good guru's place. So they also sat in the satsang and after the satsang they all stood in a line and they were touching the feet of the guru. And giving all their belongings, their gold, their money and everything to the guru. And the guru when they would touch his feet he would kick them. And we would, when they would, they would give him gold and jewel and everything, he would put them in the fire, sacrificial fire. The thief who was watching all this, he said, these people are crazy. I have taken so much training to be such a good thief and they want to kill me. And the same money they are giving to this person who is kicking them, not even allowing them to touch their feet, his feet. And they want to touch his feet and give everything of theirs to him. And he wants to burn everything. He does not want anything. I want it. I am stealing it. And they want to kill me. And these people are crazy. It is better to be a guru rather than being a thief. He was an expert thief. And so he wanted to be an expert guru. One month he stayed with that guru. He said, I want to be your disciple. And he studied everything that the guru was doing started acting, wearing clothes, makeup, moustache, beard, the way the guru is, he started doing it. After one month, he was confident that he will be able to carry on this. And so just near the ashram of guru, he started his own ashram. And he was an expert. So people started coming to him also. Everyone is not happy with everyone. People, many people may be unhappy with that guru also. So they started going to him. And he was an expert. People would come, they would touch his feet, he would kick them, get lost. They would give him money. He would put 10-15% money in the fire, but he was very good with his hand tricks and also he would hide little bit of most of the money behind us you know, below his chair, his asan. And he kept doing that and he started making a lot of money on the very first day. The morning broke out and people left for their house. He was alone in the ashram. He lifted his asan, huge asan, and he started counting how much money did he made on the first day. He was surprised that even if he would have been stealing for next 10 lifetimes, he wouldn't have made that much money. And around 15 to 20% was already destroyed in fire. Still the amount of wealth, money, clothes, jewelry that he had, he wouldn't have made it in 10 lifetimes after stealing. And he got a thought. And he took all that wealth and put it in fire. Why? Thought the thief thought that if a duplicate, false, fraud guru can get so much of wealth in just one night, how much can 
a real guru be getting or what a real guru must be getting that he is burning off all the wealth. What wealth does he have that he does not value this worldly wealth? To know that he burnt off all the wealth that he had got and he went towards the path of spirituality in the same way. I went into spirituality like that thief of the Upanishad to get brain power, to get intelligence. But in that bargain, I got caught up that if a, if a slow child, if a special child like me can become such an intelligent person by turning towards spirituality, then what a person who is wanting to attain the highest must be getting. And so I went towards getting self-realization and that is how service came into my life. That's really amazing Guruji. It, it was really so nice hearing from you, your journey, you know, how did you start it? I must say it was really nice to hear from you, you know, the path of spirituality, uh, self-realization and so much on. Uh, Guruji, I want to ask you one thing, I remember that you have the name of your organization, Hanjiyo, Vidya. The name is so beautiful that we are attached to it. So, tell us, how did you get the name of Vidya? Yes, Guruji, I am very happy to say that disciples in Juhu, I was teaching them something. So out of the context of that course, I was teaching Aura at that time. They said that, uh, Gurudev, why don't we do something? You teach us something for manifestation. So I said, okay, let us do manifestation. Let us learn manifestation. So I taught them the technique and they all did it with me. And they said, now let us try if it is working. So I said, you people think of something. So they thought of something that uh, they said that why don't you think of something. So I told them that uh, I want to have pizza today because I wanted something very mundane to just to show them that how it comes through. And the owner of that house, she jumped and she said, I've ordered for pizza. And the bell rang and there was pizza on the door. Immediately it got manifested. So there, there must also be a uh, manifestation in my subconscious about manifesting an organization and so I told them that let us you know teach all this art ancient art to people and let us start an organization so they said what name and that that is how I suggested Vidya Vidya someone suggested art of spiritual sciences art of spiritual knowledge wisdom and so checking the numerology and everything it came down to with the art of eternal science but I feel because I had to worship the Mahavidyas the word Vidya came yeah. it was already there within like the pizza was already ordered and the desire to start an NGO must also have been already within me which sprouted when I was teaching manifestation. So we are connected and it's it's really my honor. We can never be connected. We are never we connected. We are working end to end. No, we are one. We are one, actually, yeah, yeah. We connected when still we are two. When we are one, we are, we are not connected. Thank you so much, Guruji. Hari Om. Hari Om. Tatsat. Tatsat.